Hey you guys, what's up? So today I'm here to share if I could only keep 10 palettes. So I've seen this, um, I don't know if it's a tag or just like a makeup um, video, but I leave, I will leave below the girl that inspired me to do this video. It was super fun to watch and I thought, you know what, I'm gonna do that too. So I'm only picking 10 palettes for my collection and I'm just gonna share them. And if I could only keep 10, these are gonna be it. And without further ado, let's start. Alrighty, so I'm gonna start off with this one by Anastasia Beverly Hills. It is the Anastasia Fijaki Aina palette. And this is a super nice palette for me. I feel like here I get my neutrals, I get my pop of colors, I get a pink, purple, green, brown, warm, cool. I get a little bit of everything. I love this palette, you guys. The big pigmentation on it is just out of this world. Um, I've done reviews on this one. I think that it is a great buy from Anastasia. This shade Wiggly is one of my favorite. It's super, super stunning. The mattes in here are just so, so blendable. Um, let's do this now, which is a really nice green. This palette is just like super nice and stunning. So right now this palette is on sale on the Sephora website. So if you're eyeing this guy, I think it is a great opportunity to get it on sale. I think it's like 15 or 20% uh, percent off, but yeah, this is a beautiful palette. I find that I reach for it a ton and yeah, I love it so, so much. The next palette that I feel like I need in my life is this one by Natasha Denona. This is the Metropolis palette and this is a beautiful, warm and yummy palette. Again, super nice quality shadows. Um, let's do swatches because why not? Like this orange, this blue blends so 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 nicely like all these shades i just they're just gonna stick with themselves like i just find that every time i reach for this palette i just get everything that i like look at this you guys like the pigmentation of Natasha Denona's shadows is just out of this world. You get the quality, you get the blendability, you just get it all. It's super nice and portable. Um, sorry, I don't wanna make a mess. So you do get a nice mirror. I know it's super pricey, uh, but I think it's worth every single penny. As I mentioned in a previous video, I find that if you do have this palette, you just need a few more for more pop-up colors and you're set for life. Like, like you will only need like pinks and purples and then everything will just you know you're set um so yeah this palette i find that is just stunning i cannot live without it another palette that i'm really surprised uh, that i decided to put in here is this one by huda beauty is her mercury retrograde and whenever i did my review on this guy i don't know i was just underwhelmed by the palette i don't really know why but i've come i've come to love it every time i do looks with this palette i just get the prettiest looks of life i do know that the shades are super light so if you have like a deeper skin tone i don't know if these are gonna show up too much this like these swatches are gonna be a little bit underwhelming and you're gonna find that but whenever you're working with the palette on your eyes that's when you get the really nice pigmentation they do need to be built up some of the shades but i find that you just get beautiful um eyes you get a nice array of color in here you get really pastel colors which are really in for spring um and i'm really digging these colors here i'm all about the pastels right now so i thought you know you know what like we're coming into spring if i don't have a pastel palette in here like what am i doing with my life i find that this is it um if i need a pastel color i'm always reaching for this one like these pinks i've done looks with all only the pinks and the purples and they're just so romantic and pretty and yeah i i really like this palette it's not like super super pigmented uh but as i said like you do need to work with it and 
and it builds up beautiful every time I do looks with it I'm, I'm just super impressed so I really wanted to um, you know mention this guy in here because in my opinion it's a must-have a palette that I feel like I need for the rest of my life is this one by Tati Beauty I'm pretty sure you guys have seen it. It's just like it just speaks for itself. I am pretty sure you've seen a millions of reviews on, on this guy. I don't even want to swatch it because the glitter will do a mess, and I, I'm not about that life. Uh, but the blendability of these mattes, they're just stunning. It's super neutral. It's just perfection. Like you, if you have this palette, then you'll build on it with other ones. You know what I mean? Like that's like my thing. Um, if I have this palette, then I could just have a few other pop up colors and I'll be set for life. And so, this guy I feel like is super, super nice and I love it so, so much. A palette that I already mentioned in a previous video is this one by ColourPop. It's a super affordable palette. It is called the Sweet Attack Palette and it's just like perfection. Sorry about my lighting. <laughs> okay. We're back. Um, it is just perfection for springtime. I find that these peachy colors are just like so nice and pretty and blend. They just blend like a dream. Look at that maroon. The brown here is just so, so nice. That was not a really good swatch. It's a little bit dry now, um, but on your eyes, they just blend really nice. And I do love this shade, which is like a glitter topper kind of thing. Um, this one on top here, I use it for my inner corners all the time. And I really like that palette. Whenever spring is coming, I feel like I need to bust the back up. Since last year, I used it all spring, and I feel like I'm already, you know, hooked to it um, so yeah highly highly recommend by Colourpop that one I don't really have a huge Colourpop collection uh, but I really like their quality I, um, I think that they have really good palettes and speaking of which so jaded I think this is a must have palette I mean you guys you get every single color in here that you need you get that emerald green here which is tanning you get the purples you get the blues this teal color let me do a swatch this teal color i remember doing um a look using this teal and it's just like absolutely amazing this is the palette that i'm wearing right now and i wanted a soft romantic pink and i ended up grabbing like these two shades and just going crazy with them I love this palette. I find that you get so many different finishes. The mattes are so, so nice. You get the glitters if you do wanna use them on your eyes or on your body. And this diamond shade, I'm also wearing it right now. It just like, it changes any, any, um, shadow that you use pretty much sorry i'm trying not to like get stained everywhere and like do a big mess here uh but anyway yeah this palette i just feel like is super versatile you get a ton you get a ton here and um, i'm never gonna run out of this guy and i love the shade pearl for the inner corners i was thinking i need a travel palette which one will i you know appreciate and love um if i'm traveling and i decided to go with this of my natasha denona this is her, her instant look in a palette and you do get everything here i know this isn't an eyeshadow palette per se but these three are eyeshadows and i find that you get a nice neutral look in here just with this one palette so i wanted to include this one in my shading i don't know this is a nice shadow palette right like um i really like this guy i find that the quality is just stunning out of this world natasha i mean charlotte's stuff is just amazing um so yeah this is her instant look in a palette five minute face glow on the go a palette that i needed to mention is this one by um Julia's place, sorry, is the masquerade. Oh, I don't want to drop it because I want to open the masquerade palette. Look at this. So, first of all, is the side of my head, and second of all, look at these shades. The browns in here, let's do swatches. Look at this pink, look at this teal, look at this blue, look at this green. 
do I have to say anything else at all? Like this palette is just amazing. And Juvia's Place, they always do in sales on their site. I find that I'm always buying their, you know, their eyeshadow palettes, um, half their price and stuff like that. Um, so I really like how affordable and the quality of them. They're just really, really nice. You know, if you cover the bottom here, you get really colorful. And then if you cover the top you just get a, a neutral stream um so yeah this palette is really really nice and this was number nine sorry my apologies that was number eight for number nine i do want to mention my natasha denona sunrise palette i've talked about this guy a ton as well it's just like natasha denona quality shadows is just like everything and whenever you get the size of her palette is when you get the best deal because you get more colors, less quantity of the shades, uh, you know, less quantity of the shadow, but you do get to try more of her like nice formula. This guy is super warm, is super yummy for summer. The yellows in here are stunning. These ones are so, so nice. This is so neutral. Like you get everything in this palette, I mean, I think I can live with only this palette, can I? I don't know, but I love it so, so much. So I needed to include it in this video. And then the last palette that I needed to mention because I wanted to be a little bit bougie just for you out there um, is this one. This is by Pat McGrath and this is the only pad palette that I have and I love it so much. Like, you guys these shades these shades the special formula that she does is just like absolutely out of this world her mats they're just so blendable this is a neutral's dream come true like you even get your really dark purple shade like this palette is everything. This is, I didn't even say the name. This is this one. What's the name of this guy? This is Five, Mothership Five Bronze Seduction. I had to keep the box. I mean, look at this guy. Like, and yeah, anyway, going back to the palette, this is just a beautiful palette. Every time I wanna it just looks super glamorous. I'm always grabbing this one because it just makes me, you know, feel really nice and pretty. Alrighty, my friends, that was it for today. This was a hard video to make because I mean, 10, only 10 palettes, but these are it. Like, I'm pretty sure these are it. I love them so, so much. And yeah, I am so happy with the 10 palettes that I decided to keep. Do give me a thumbs up if you enjoy and click that red subscribe button for more. And I'll see you in my next one. Bye, guys.